They said the feds came, they found nothing. Right. And here so we go again. Is it the same federal probe in 2006 or is it now a, a different investigation? Exactly. Do we even know? Exactly. To all the federal probes, the city's Board of Ethics has launched its own investigation. And we should mention this is not the first time Davis has been a target of a federal probe. 2006, the FBI raided his office, but it's important to note he was not charged with any crime. The FBI raided his office, but it's important to note he was not charged with any crime. The FBI raided his office, but it's important to note he was not charged with any crime. They are supporters of Bernie Davis, and they're going to protest the media coverage. They battled Mount Vernon Mayor and other city officials have been receiving only. We're going to step out of the way now so you can look at what's going on here. Gathered here together to number one, show our support for the city of Mount Vernon. That's number one. It's image, it's spirit. We're here proclaiming that we love Mount Vernon. If you love Mount Vernon, make some noise. We're here to support our mayor who has who has never, who has never been convicted of a crime even though the news has already convicted him. Let's give our mayor a round of applause. And thirdly, thirdly, we are here to make a clarion call to the community to organize a boycott against local media who does not respect Mount Vernon. Now watch this, watch this. How many events have you went to over the years that's positive, that celebrated our youth, the achievements of our youth, the advancement of our youth, that showed Mount Vernon in the positive light, that showed our unity, that showed our seniors, and news didn't show up? Because it has always been the news is purview that if it doesn't bleed, it doesn't lead. Now certainly, 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 news is supposed to be the fourth wing or the fourth arm of government, and we do see a need for a free and a fair press. But whenever press leans towards the side of those who benefit from our disunity and our ignorance, then we don't need that type of press covering us. It is beautiful that we live in a digital world that has kind of even off the playing field. So in other words, if we get our Facebook connection going, our Twitter and our Instagram, we can actually communicate to more people and get the right message out to the people so that when the net press, if they do a negative spin, then our people already know. And like Flavor Flav told us many years ago, don't believe the hype. All right? Now, we have to know that because they're protesting the media, they are not speaking to us on camera about why they're even here. It's safe to assume though it's because they, it's the FBI raided his the FBI raided the FBI raided his office, but it's important to note he was not charged with any crime. For now that's the issue here in Mount Vernon. Janine, back to you. I'm here to represent the United Black Clergy. We are outraged. We have an outrage as regarding to the negativity, the image that the uh, media have projected of Mount Vernon. Uh, we are calling for equity and reporting. We we believe that the uh, the media have not been fair. 
with celebrating the wonderful things that this city have done and continue to do. We believe that this uh, media have already condemned uh, not just the mayor, but all black people who's about doing things positive in our community. And we must stop, and we will stop it. Uh, the clergy is organizing themselves uh, to go to our churches and our pews and tell our people that we cannot stand by and allow these people to desecrate and to defame not only our man, but us as black people. Amen. When we allow black leadership to be desecrated, they are, in, they are desecrating us. Yes, are. When we allow people to say things pertaining to Mount Vernon that is far not true, then we are participating in that. I'm calling for everybody, all Mount Vernon Knights, and not just Mount Vernon Knights, but all churches in Westchester County to help us and to assist us in turning the clock. Mount Vernon is a wonderful place, and we do have wonderful leadership in Mount Vernon, and we are tired. Last time, they showed us the hokey dokey. They told us that our leadership was, was crooked, and they have not produced any, any evidence of crookedness. I I stand and support the leadership of Mount Vernon and I stand and support the people of Mount Vernon. We will move forward. We are behind this effort 1,000%. Thank you. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. First and foremost, we all honors and praises to the Most High. As someone who would inherit the position of mayor, if this mayor was kicked out by the press, I stand before you as an individual on the city council, not representing the city council this day, okay? But I've known this man for 30 something years. I've worked for him for all of the time when he was in office and retired in 2005, okay? He has never told us to do anything wrong. I have never seen him do anything wrong. I told the press when they've interviewed me over the last couple of weeks, at one time in America, you were innocent until you were proven guilty. But now in America, especially for the black man, you are guilty until you're proven innocent. And that is a crying shame in a democratic country like America. Okay? Understand that in some countries, you are not allowed to say anything. If you say anything bad, especially if you are a, a reporter, sometimes they kill you in a lot of countries. Right? So the press in the United States is free to print whatever they want to print. Okay, but it's up to us, Mount Vernon, to do the right things all the time. Okay, I am standing, I'm not standing up here and saying that the press is totally wrong, but like has already been said, it is more negative press than it is positive press. Yep. And I've also said to them, if they would concentrate on the positive press in Mount Vernon, they would sell probably more newspapers sure than they sure do indeed. right now. Sure indeed. Vernon. You know, so many years uh, through high school and middle school, we used to come to this building. We used to be happy. We looked up and we were proud to be a part of the city of Mount Vernon. I worked here almost 20 years. 20 years. Really hard, too. And, and I used to read the journal news and watch News 12. But you can't feed people who insult you. All right. They cannot eat off of us. If they're going to print or write about facts, then that's different. But until they do, I'm not going to read it and I'm not going to watch it. We, we have done more for this county than any other community in this entire county. In the state, Mount Vernon has delivered on the promise of what government is about. To be there for the people. People who couldn't do or didn't have enough or needed a little boost. We have done that. And we deserve better. That should be our call. We deserve better. Uh, we deserve better. We deserve better. Thank you. Davis, that we love you, Mayor Davis, and we support you. And as an employee of this city, we stand with the mayor with, without fear. Okay? We are tired of these bias attacks, and we're not going to stand for it any, more, any longer. Okay? We're going to put the News 12. Journal News on notice. This is not a one-time thing. No. We're going to organize right. and organize, okay, and, until you stop it, all right? Assalamu alaikum. Well, Mayor Davis, everything has been said. 
So, I really don't have anything to say. say something. But I will say this. If God be for you, who can be against you? See, when you have this kind of internal rot taking place, you have enemies not only without, but you have enemies within. Definitely. You have enemies within your own circle, feeding information, mixing truth with falsehood. You can take a little bit of the truth and put it with a lot of falsehood and make falsehood look like it's the right thing. And so anytime the scribes are called out, like they were in the time of Jesus, then their job is to compare you. Choose Jesus or Barabbas. Choose your mayor, who's been a good man. None of us are perfect, but we're not here to deal with the dark side of the moon. We're here to deal with the side that provides light. Or either you're going to choose a thief or robber to replace him. And I'm not talking about whoever's next to replace him or whoever will come in after him. But I'm saying those that are presently around right now. They are services and services that this mayor has provided. That's right. He had a long run. Then there was an interruption. And no one thought he would come back. That's right. But Mayor Davis is back. And his coming back was the coming back of the voice of the poor. His coming back was the coming back of the voice of the streets. His coming back was the coming back of the young people that I've walked the streets with him and watched the young people stop for Mayor Davis. Stop playing their basketball or anything else they were doing to come and greet him. And so, we stand here today with this beautiful black mayor. And we stand with his staff. If you attack the mayor, you attack his staff. So you just can't only stand with the mayor, you gotta stand with his chief of staff. And you gotta stand with the commissioner or the chief of the fire department. And if he made a decision in the police department, that's his decision. Let him make that decision. Stand with your mayor. Support leadership and respect leadership. Respect the seat and the office that he holds. But this man has worked that we should respect him as well. No man is an island, and every one of us have imperfections. And those that write in the newspaper, they have imperfections. Those that fed the stories, they have imperfections. As a matter of fact, the scripture says, all of our righteousness is like filthy rags in the sight of God. I am a minister, I am a spiritual teacher, so I'm not going to come here and not bring the word of God. Though I said I had nothing to say, I have a whole lot to say. And I'm going to say it again. If God be with you, who can be against you? As my sister said a moment ago, with passion, he has a right to own as much land as he wants to own. Since you made us slaves in America and promised us 40 acres and a meal, we didn't get the acres and the meal you kicked us in the genitals with, so he can get as much land as he wants. Nothing wrong with a black man having what he wants to have. And this black man represents black, Hispanic, White, he represents the citizenry of Mount Vernon and of the state of New York. So you're going to respect who we have in our office while he's there. And we're not going to let no one push him out until the time he's ready to go. And God be for you. Who can be against you? See, when God is with you, Mayor Davis, then he will show you those who are around you, even when they appear to you to be your friend. But it's like the, it's like the story of the scorpion and the turtle. One day the scorpion came to the turtle and said, uh, Mr. Turtle, will you give me a ride on your back across the Atlantic? And the turtle said, no, if you do that, you'll sting me in, your, in my back. He says, why would I do that, Mr. Turtle, when it's in the best interest of both of us to get across? That's right. The problem that the turtle was is that he thought for a moment that the scorpion could change his nature. So he gave him a ride. And what happened halfway in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean? He, he fell a needle in his back. <laughs> and he looked up at the scorpion and said, I thought it was in the best interest of both of us that we got across. He said, it is my nature to do what my nature calls me to do. It's my nature to stick a needle in your back. So even though I told you that it was in our best interest, he lied. Yes, sir. You have liars and crooked deceivers. Yes, sir. You have those that have been planted around those in black leadership, yes, in black towns, and black mayors, and those that want to make progressive steps for black and Hispanic and poor white and for the poor. You have that here in Mount Vernon. Surround your mayor. You got to watch who brings you your food. You got to watch who brings you your drink. You got to watch when you come outside your door. Protect him. 
and protect those that support him. Every one of us, you got to see yourself as important to your man to the city. Now beyond Mayor Davis is the future of Mount Vernon. Right. If he's been this good to you and you stand up for him today, then whatever happens after him, you don't need to have anyone less than him. Yes, you don't need to have someone that's a handkerchief head Negro here in your city hall looking black but speaking for someone else. You understand? Standing black but representing someone else. You heard what I said. I don't care if you don't want to bear witness as long as you understand what we are saying. When you invite Brother Abdul Hafiz Muhammad on behalf of Minister Farrakhan, you're inviting someone to give you the strict nine truth. Because I'm a free man. I'm not a puppet. Nobody paid me to come. And even if they did, I'm going to say what I want to say anyway. But no one paid me to come. I'm a free man. I don't owe nobody nothing. And I didn't come in to get nothing from none of you. We came here to stand with a man that backs true leadership. Right. Minister Farrakhan loves you and respects you. I personally love and respect you. And the believers of the mosque love and respect you. And the people of Mount Vernon respect you. This doesn't represent the respect that you have. So continue to walk the walk. Talk the talk, but do what you do best, which is work the work. If God be for you, who can be against you? Thank you as we greet you in peace. Just want you to know, the organizers want you to know that on April 4th, there'll be another rally where there'll be instructions on how we go forward in forming the community ourselves. Because there will probably be a story written tomorrow or the next day. Yeah. And it might not be the whole truth and nothing but the truth. It might be some spin to the truth. But we have an opportunity and the ability to get true information to our people. Is that right? And as a result, we'll do that. So April 4th, listen out. This is a city and a country of immigrants, most, That's right. almost everybody. That's right. And this city is full of different nationalities. Yes. And I put them into my building so that the children will grow up to know that they're different cultures. I cannot understand this newspaper. It's bad business what they do. There isn't a time, today is the first time something good was put in the paper. What business people do things like that? The mic, the mic. What business people do things like that? They ruin their own business. Nobody wants to do anything with the journal news. Because Why? They trusted. They're not trusted. That, well, it's more than, more than not trusted. Everything they do is crippling. And they're prejudiced all the way down the line. I'm sorry, I just can't stand it. It's awful. I have all my money invested in this city. I have all my money invested in the city and I will not take it out. It is gorgeous. Yeah. There was a bunch of criticism about the last storm and the mayor not being here. I work at the Army. We got a call, the director, Jerry Christiana, got a call from the mayor saying every senior building that is out of power I want a meal delivered to every door right. what you all didn't print is that the armory had no heat and had no lights but we all got together the staff in the kitchen the the guys that deliver the home delivered meals I was one of them. they <laughs> walked up steps and knocked on every door of, of every building that housed seniors that had no power okay the kitchen staff should be commended the paper should have picked that up the home delivered meals people the paper should have picked that up and our mayor was so concerned that he he was the one that said, I want a meal at every door. You didn't say anything about that. And you're talking about the mayor's property. The mayor was an architect long before he was a politician. And he was a damn good one. He built half of Mount Vernon, Harlem, all over. He's supposed to have money, and damn it, he's supposed to have property. That's it for me. I'm Diane Monroe Moore.